Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Yes, I have a toboggan on because today I am doing a super fantastic haul. You guys, I love hauls, love watching other people's hauls. I love budget type content and sharing that with you guys. And what better place to shop from and share like budgeting stuff is Timu. You guys, I love Timu. I'm sure, you know, when I put videos out originally about Timu, it was like brand new on the market last year and you guys hadn't heard of it. But over time, I think everybody shops at Timu. And if you haven't, you need to. Um, my mom, my dad, they love it. And they are not like online shoppers, really. They would rather like still use their checkbook and like do that i mean not my dad but my mom would rather just like write a check still she's still in that age so um my mother-in-law loves it like everybody loves timu because you can find such awesome awesome deals for a fraction of the cost you guys so today i'm sharing with you my haul i will have two different haul videos because you guys i love it um actually this hat i got a while back from Timu and I love it and I have a pair of shoes I'll show you guys I wear them every single day I kid you not they are like just awesome I don't know I don't know what else to say about it I love it I love Timu so let's go ahead I'm going to show you this you guys know if you've been watching my channel or not my channel but my Instagram lately and I share it on YouTube shorts I am obsessed with coffee um my friends Melissa and Rachel and Mackenzie Carla Mackenzie they are all coffee people. And so I was a Nespresso person, but now I have turned into a whole other level because, you know, I was around them, saw them. I love the reels. I love watching coffee inspiration. And you guys, now I am hooked and I am, you guys saw my video. I put in my coffee bar. I know it's a little much, but <laughs> you know, I do things for a fraction of the cost. So you guys, I wanted to build my bar. A lot of that stuff is so expensive so expensive for like espresso and latte and all those fun things and i'm just not having that i can't like fathom spending that kind of money that some of that stuff is um so i'm sharing with you some of the stuff that i got and some like the home type stuff um that is really popular and trending so let me like take the camera over here i want to show you what i got and um i will link all of this down below and i know a lot of you asked for prices in the past but the problem with me showing you prices is that they fluctuate like they usually drop in price so i hate showing price because you know it's probably going to change you can get deals you can stack coupons all kinds of stuff so i love this i ordered um i ordered a silver one off of amazon but it was like literally that big and so when i was frothing my milk i couldn't do that and i really the color wasn't aesthetically pleasing this is i love this um look at this cute little picture like i don't know little things like this just make me happy i've already taken a lot of this out of the box because i had boxes everywhere but um i love this and some of you guys told me last year that like people complained on my channel about how timu only sends influencers like packaged items like all pretty packaged and that is totally not true because i order all the time from timu my parents order from timu my mother-in-law everything always ships the same way for me and them as it does as an influencer package so i don't know like i just wanted to put that disclaimer in there that like my packages come nicely packaged um so anyway this is the picture that I got as I, I'm so excited. I'll be sharing this in reels because you guys, I love it. I got this little, like, I'm going to call it a dosing cup. So when you make espresso, you make lattes, things like that, you know, you're using the espresso maker, your coffee drips down or not your coffee, but your espresso drips down. I like this. They had like three different types of, um, styles. I like this one. I thought it was so cute because it's super popular right now. These little things. So I had to get that. You guys, I'm in love with this. The cutest little thing ever. Like, ah, like, because if you make reels, if you make shorts, if you make any type of like coffee content or you watch any, everybody always has the cutest stuff. And I was influenced by my friend, Rachel, Ray of Sunshine. So she has all these cute little things. And my friend, Melissa, the coffee queen, um, Look at this. Look how look how cute that is. Like oh, so you'll be seeing a whole lot of this. So you can 
fill it with the coffee. You can put whatever you want in it, but I got this for coffee. It is glass, but I just thought it was too cute not to. So you guys, one of my obsessions is checkerboard. I absolutely love checkerboard. I have checkerboard shoes on. I wear them every day. They're beyond like needing to be worn anymore because they're so gross. But I love anything checkerboard. They had these. They had like a teal colored one. They had a, perp, a lavender colored one. And then they had this brown colored one. And I just really, the brown caught my eye because it's like a rust color. And I had to have it. So you will see all of this stuff in my YouTube shorts because I love it. So I wanted to keep one of these with a box so you guys could see, you know, that it comes boxed up like that. So this is one of those, um, like a saucer, just like the other one that has like the beveled look to it. This one is just a smoother one. It's just clear. That way you can see it better like when I'm doing stuff like that. But you guys, I mean, this is a way to up your coffee game without like spending all that money. Okay, another thing. So, under my coffee bar, where we have the um, coffee machines. So, in the past I had the, the little stand that I kept everything on and coffee just splashes like the drip brian loves drip coffee he's not into all the fancy stuff he'll get a caramel macchiato every now and then but it drips so like when he's making his it splashes well that stains the white and it doesn't come off i've tried magic erasers i've tried everything so i was just like you know what we're gonna get a coffee mat like one of these with the grips on the back of it that is going to keep it dry and it's going to keep it from getting stained so i got a black one of these and I got a white one because I almost got the checkerboard, you guys. I didn't want to go overboard with checkerboard, but I almost did um, because I just love it. So I like, I have the white stand, so I got a white one. You could use this for multiple other things. This wasn't just made for that. I mean, this could be used for your desk. It could be used in your kitchen. You can use it for whatever. It's just I wanted a mat that I could put my coffee stand on. That's what I got. So, something I really needed, look how cute the packaging is on this, with some washcloths, some dishcloths. Um, I think it was Alex that's on Instagram that does lots of coffee reels and, make, and um, he makes his own like coffee creamers and things. Love Alex. And I noticed on his little bar setup, he had little towels. So I was like, I want some little towels um, like that to wipe things off because like I tell you, it splashes. So they've got all kinds of like, these are really, really good quality. I will say that. Really good quality. I wanted some towels. Another coffee thing that I know I am just overboard with this, but I literally love watching people's coffee reels. And like some of these people out there make them and they have, I think I was watching um, Mama Made Coffee and she has a knock box. So I know this is all new to me. <laughs> Um, I don't even know half of what I'm doing with all this stuff, but I'm just excited and taking you guys along for the ride. So when you are uh, taking the coffee out from the espresso maker, this gives you a way, let me take this out. This gives you a way to knock, you know, I'm not using the right language here, guys. You can knock the um, your leftover pod out of there into this. And this is like a little stand for all the stuff. Um, and you can put it in there. Anyway, look at that. Look how nice that is. This is really high quality. I will say that. Like, really, really, really nice. So, this was under, like, I searched for this under the espresso stuff. Because I was looking for one of these. And it's an espresso knock box. Um, but I really, really, really am excited for this. I'll show you how this all looks once I put it over there. Because, like I said, I'm very excited about this. If you couldn't tell. Okay. So another thing, when you're weighing your espresso beans, things like that, everybody always has one of these. And I've got like a really like old kitchen scale one, but not like one that's actually meant for weighing coffee beans and things like that. So this is an actual coffee scale. Um, I had no idea that people went through all this kind of stuff in making espressos. I just assumed you pushed a button and that's, then you called it a day. But there's so much to it. So... Um, and if anybody is like a pro at this stuff, give me all the tips, you guys. Give me all the tips. Um, but it comes with this, and it's got like a little mat for it. A little grip mat. So I'm excited for this. I probably don't have that. Yeah, I need batteries. But anyway. Um, it's a little coffee scale. Look how cute that is. Super excited about that. And 
that it won't like slide all over the place because it's got the gripper to put underneath it. So very excited about my coffee scale. I'll show, I'll be sharing this like I said with you guys. So another thing, if you guys um, have been watching me for a while, what, two years ago I got my utensils and I love pink. Um, I love the pink stuff. I'll show you what's happened to it. I literally use, that's all I use. I got rid of all the other stuff. Look at that. Look how gross it has gotten. I can't even show you on camera how nasty. Like these unscrew and everything now. I had to throw a couple away. So I was in desperate need of a new one, a new set. So I love the silicone utensils because my kids are notorious for scratching things. And now all of them want to be little chefs and cook in the kitchen. Um, and actually my really good pans have gotten destroyed. So it comes with a little stand. Um, and I love pink, as you know. So these are just like my other ones that I had. Just a whole new refreshed set. So I love these. I use them every day, like I said, for probably over two years now. Because I like little touches of pink. If I did all pink, Ryan would probably like die. But see, look how nice that is. I'm very excited to have a new set of those. So I may leave those out on the counter. Mine were not looking very aesthetically pleasing, so I had to put them up under the counter. Okay, another thing, you guys, I have six people in my house. One of the things we were always out of, always struggling with, like I think they've got pool towels in there now, is some towels. Oh wow, these are really nice quality. So this is Textile Boutique. Look how cute the packaging is. So it comes with a set. These are so soft. Um, so I just got some neutral. I'm not crazy about getting all white on stuff because I used to, but sometimes it just doesn't work out great. So just a bunch of towels, towel sets. There's some hand towels. There's some washcloths. And then here is a regular towel. These are these like, I bet these will do so much better than my regular towels because of how these feel for absorbency. Like some stuff mildews just hang in there. And I feel like these are like, um, I don't know what the word is for them, but like to absorb all that. These are really, really soft, like very soft. So very excited for those um, towels. They have tons, tons and tons of choices. Okay, you guys, I jumped on board. I jumped on board, but I am not willing to pay like, I don't know what people are paying. And don't come for me if you pay like $60 for a cup. I am not about that life, but I love pink, you guys. Love it. They have every type of color you can imagine. And I make wraps. Like, I have wraps downstairs, like, for cups and stuff. So, I'm going to put one on here of, like, motivational, like, things with Jesus and stuff. So, I thought that would be nice. I love this. I had a white one from Timu, and it lasts. It holds up. It keeps everything cold. It does everything that it needs to do. And look how freaking cute it is. Plus, it's very inexpensive on Timu. And finally, I'm so excited to show you guys this. Okay, you guys. This, so I have my smaller espresso machine. Um, hopefully, I will be getting a great big one um, soon. But I don't have a grinder. I have a little grinder, and it apparently doesn't doing what it needs to do. It was very inexpensive, like, thing. Probably, like, $10.00 if that, so obviously it's not gonna do what it needs to do. So I have seen these really nice ones, like the burr ones, and this looks so pretty. It was like aesthetically pleasing. I watched all kinds of like little videos on it to see which one that I wanted to get because these were in such high demand on Timu. There was a couple I was looking at, but they were out of stock because like they just go really fast. Like so many people are buying these. So it has 30 grind settings. You can go coarse to fine, 300 gram capacity. So I really wanted it because I didn't know what I was doing when I started. And Melissa reminded me that um, my stuff was too, like I didn't know what I was doing, honestly. My stuff was too coarse. Um, so this will hopefully do the job and get that really um, fine texture because this is a really nice um, grinder because I wanted to be able to grind my own beans because it just has a totally different taste. And I didn't used to like understand that. Oh my gosh, it's night and day difference. I don't like, you can taste the notes like in the coffee. 
um, in the, I'm sorry, not in the coffee, in the espresso, you can taste the little notes that are meant to be tasted. Whereas it gets almost like watered down when you get some of the stuff from coffee companies. Now, I won't say that about Berry House because I absolutely love, love Berry House. But I got to grind um, coffee one day from, um, from Ordained. And it was like I could taste all the notes that they put in it. And it was so good. So, you guys, I'm so excited about this. I'm trying to get this out so I can show you. Um, obviously, I'm not going to grind it right now. But look at this. It's got like a digital display on here. And it's got this cup insert. And I'm pretty sure you can, yeah, you can put your, um, I don't have the right word I'm using. Your thing for your espresso machine in there. Yep, you can. It's got this little add-on extension tool right here. So, you can clip that in here. We'll have to look into this and see how I'm supposed to be doing this so I don't screw it up. But Anyway, you can slide that in there if you just want to do it directly. Or, I'm sure this just pops in there. Yep, pops in there like that, I guess. And then you can do it um, straight from your machine. Like, you can put it in there so that way you guys what am i doing i like to pretend like i know what i'm doing certain days hang on so like this for example from your espresso machine you could basically just put that up there pop that in place do what you need to do like it, put your beans up here like measure your beans put them in there put your settings for how you want it your time all that kind of stuff and then it will just dispense right into there or you can take that little attachment off and just do it direct in here if you want to make more than just like a single dose. So I'm excited for this. You'll be seeing more of this. I have to figure out what I'm doing with this first. Because it has all these different levels here. And this is new to me, like I said. But such a cool thing. Okay, so here it is. I wanted to show you. I had to move my syrups over. I'll rearrange some of this a little better later. But there's the scale. There's my beans. There's the dosing cup. Here's the knock box. Um, here's the cup. I just got it sitting there for later. Then here is that. There's the pitcher next to the frother. And there is that. I replaced the other one out. So, ah, I'm so excited. Okay, my friends, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't worry. You'll be seeing lots and lots of these, um, espresso reels, lattes, things like that, because I'm so excited to share that journey with you. I just, I love coffee. I love lattes. I just don't love the high prices of this. The only reason I have this today, yes, I love the way this tastes. I love the way homemade lattes taste even better now that I've started making them. Totally night and day difference um, if you can get it dialed in the right way. But I got this today because a customer of mine um, sent me a little like e-gift card. So I bought that um, for free to start my morning and got some puppuccinos, you know, for the dogs for free. But anyway, you guys, that's it for today's video. I'm going to link all the products down below. Check out Timu if you haven't. I will have a discount code. And I hope that you have an absolutely amazing day. And love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.